Every song has a story. And the carols of Christmas are linked to a world of fascinating legends, ideas, and history. This is the Annotated Christmas Songbook. There's the red flash of neon in the dirty back alley puddles of the bad part of town. The city never sleeps because there's a mystery behind every corner and a secret hidden in the suspicious glance of every stranger. No one in their right mind would come here if they didn't have to. But I have to. There's a mystery to be investigated, and it looks like I'm the only one willing to take the case. There's an imposter lurking around the ranks of the Christmas carols, and it's up to me to dig up the facts. I call this the case of who the heck is good King Wenceslas. Pull a chair up to the office desk and I'll pour you a shot of whiskey. You may want a little liquid courage because the facts in this case are nothing but a twisted tangle of lies. We all think we have the lowdown on this Wenceslas mug. Around Christmas time, he spots some poor peasant palooka wandering around in the snow. After getting his page to ID the schmo, the king and page set out to deliver him some firewood and grub. The winds start to kick up, and the kid's having trouble following the king. But luckily his boss is one hot number, and his footprints melt the snow, letting pagey follow behind until they deliver the goods to the peasant. That's the way the song tells the story. Too bad it has more holes in it than a donut factory. The song we all know was written by a holy roller by the name of John Mason Neal. This Neal fella lived in England and wrote the song in 1853. Wenceslas lived in Bohemia over 900 years before. So it's a good bet these guys never met. Here's the thing. History tells us that good King Wenceslas ain't none of those things. When he was alive, Wenceslas did rule Bohemia, but he was a duke, not a king. The Pope only made him a king after his death. So if Wenceslas is a king in this story, that makes him melt in snow while he walked, even more of a miracle than first thought. Next, although he is revered for his goodness, this Wenceslas wasn't all that good a ruler. His reign was plagued by wars, political feuds, and political scheming that drove his nation into chaos until he was stripped of power by his enemies. Still, the average Joe seemed to like him, so if not good, at least he was a so-so monarch. But then it turns out he isn't even a Wenceslas. That's the Latinized version of his real Czech name, Wenceslav. Turns out the guy in the carol has been working under an alias. But that's not the end of the malarkey connected with this song. It's supposed to be a Christmas song, but the story is set on the Feast of Stephen, which is on December 26th. And not only that, it seems that John Mason Neal lifted the tune from an already existing song called Tempest Adest Floridum. If you're not up on your Latin, the title translates into... Easter time is come. It's like setting the words of a way in a manger to here comes Peter Cottontail. So what do we got? It turns out that one of the world's most loved Christmas songs is actually an Easter tune set on a Boxing Day story featuring a so-so duke operating under an assumed name. Everything in this song is suspect. Except the story. The story John Mason Neal tells is the same one told in Bohemia to this very day. And if you want my professional opinion, that's the only part of the investigation that really matters. Good King Wenceslas may get most of the facts wrong. It might not even technically be a Christmas song. But as far as I'm concerned, it's actually one of the most Christmassy songs ever.
because it's about charity and gift giving and goodwill and empathy and mercy and looking out for the little guy. That's what the Christmas spirit is all about, if you ask me. I ain't no historian or expert on music. I'm just a cheap gumshoe. But let's give a listen to this song that is deceptive and yet truthful in ways that warm even this cynical old heart. Here's good King Wenceslas. Sumaliak at Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Intro music by Aaron Kenny. Outro music by Ease Jammy Jams. Incidental music, The Black Cat, also by Aaron Kenny. The Annotated Christmas Songbook is a production of Holy Trinity Anglican Church and the Acme Radio.